Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back now in today's video we have a Razorback review Okay, yes, you do have to be a high level higher level to unlock this um, And the name's pretty cool, but is it worth it? Okay, let's check it out So the description, you know, it says full auto submachine gun good start, right? Best accuracy of its class great start and mid mid range engagements. I agree with that all of that but there are some little flaws in each one of those, and I'll get into that later. First things first, let's get into the reticle. Alright, we have reflex. Definitely a reflex for this class. Definitely, because it is a mid to close range uh, weapon, and you want a little zoom down the sight and a little assist, but not, not ELO type gun. Okay? Uh, rapid fire or stock, honestly. It depends on your play style. Rapid fire is just because this gun fires fairly slowly, so keep that in mind. Also, in extended mag is a must need. You need this attachment because this gun has like almost no ammo in it in its mag before you put this attachment on. So definitely use that. And also grip is also useful to make this gun even more accurate. Okay, moving on to the lethal. I will definitely use frag almost all the time because you can cook it and it's really good for getting multiple kills uh, when you need them. Now tacticals, I don't, I don't really use tacticals that much so you can uh, trade that in for maybe uh, a perk 3 or something. Now on to perk 1, I would go with flak jacket or 6 cents. I never use flak jacket but I would definitely prefer that for this class but I always use 6 cents so use that definitely. Anti up to get that extra heads up for um, your score streaks or uh, scavenger uh, Yeah, either of those um, And also tactical mask would also be okay and dead silence, which is also always nice Okay, so this gun uh, Base engagement wise. Um, yeah mid to mid to close definitely um, and also this gun is okay in um, 2v1 situations, but more than 2v1s is very dangerous because of the rate of fire. It's fairly low, and if you don't have rapid fire for that extra 6%, it's, it's really gonna kill you. You're gonna have no chance versus those faster submachine guns and faster assault rifles. So keep that in mind, guys, please. And also... If you're trying to get this gun gold, again, don't use those um, far range rif uh, scopes, I mean, because they don't help you, and those things are pretty crappy, and you're gonna want to rush with this gun, or stay mid range at least. Um, and also, keep in mind that, uh, <sighs> I don't know if you care about how the gun looks, but to me, it looks amazing. Don't let the gun's looks deceive you, okay? It's 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 an acquired taste of a gun, and what I mean by that is play for play with it for a while. Uh, just five minutes with it is not is it's really not going to help you out. It's not going to give you a good idea of how good the gun is. So please keep that in mind. I get on some pretty good streaks with it with this gun, and um, I really like it. I give it a seven out of ten. Um, and yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you do, please obliterate that like button. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing to become a part of our chill army. But other than that, this has been the boss fan. And oh, one more thing. I wanted to thank all of you guys for the extremely awesome support lately. We just broke 50 subscribers, and that is awesome. That makes me so happy to make these videos. And yeah, thank you guys so much, keep it up, and yeah, hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and peace.